now to a terrifying story of liberation. In tonight's Making a Difference report, how three women escaped from the Taliban thanks to a local man they now call their hero. Then meat, chicken, uh -huh. and then rice and potato. Dinner time is a hectic time in the Bass household. Oh, it smells good already. They are very good cooks. They cook sometimes, I cook sometimes. And then I will add the rice. Every night for the past several weeks, there have been three guests for dinner. The chicken will cook fast. But while not everyone here is related, <laughs> they are all now family. Andy Bass is a 53-year-old executive with a large manufacturing company. He's also a retired Marine. It was really the jumping off point for me to learn self-discipline and build my character. And to continue construction of that character, Bass also runs marathons, adventure marathons. You're able to get there and actually see the folks and interact with the people and immerse yourself in a local culture. He's tested his endurance in places like Lebanon, Uganda, even North Korea. It was like being on a movie set. There were so many things that were staged just for the visitors. Then in 2019, his travels took him to the Bamiyan province of Afghanistan, where one morning he wandered into a local market. So we go in there and I'm immediately greeted by the most delightful young woman named Zara. My mom was the first lady that opened a shop in the Bamiyan market. 18-year-old Zara Nazari taught herself English while working in her mom's clothing store alongside her younger sister Fatima. A shop owned by a woman in Afghanistan was not unusual. It was unheard of, but not even a bomb could stop them. And it exploded, and me and my mom, we fainted, and uh, our shop mm, glass broken, all of our shop broken. The very next day, they were back in business. Over the next few days, uh, I bought, it, bought things from her. Uh, we became friends, and when I left, we became Facebook friends. Then, last year, Bass began to worry about his new friends. When the Taliban seized power after the Afghan government collapsed, Zara knew she'd rather die than be captured. So an Afghan military officer made her a promise to kill her before that happened. It was at midnight and the commander told me, please don't say to other women because they will be very nervous. Excuse me. It's okay. <laughs> so uh, Zara reached out to me and uh, asked if I could help them get out. And um, I said, if you can get to Kabul, I, I should be able to help. Through his connections with the Marines, adventure travel, and an organization called Save Our Allies, Bass was able to secure visas for Zara and her family. After hiding out for days, they were some of the lucky ones to get inside the gates of the Kabul airport. We met U.S. soldiers. He was very, very kind soldiers. And he told us, you have a U.S. visa, and I, I show my visa from U.S. government and our passport, our documents to soldiers. And he helped us bring our bags and uh, uh, we entered the airport. I got a text in the middle of the night that said, uh, we're on a military plane, me, mom, and sis. Then for nine days, nothing, until another text. I sent message to Mr. Bass, we are in Dulag's, Dulag's Expo, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> he, he told us it's uh, Washington, D.C. After days of vetting and processing, the end of their journey was a new beginning. Andy Bass brought his friends to St. Louis. As soon as they get their worker ID card and social security card, they, they want to jump right in and get jobs. It's our room. It's my bed. Zara and Fatima are already enrolled in some community college classes. Do the pose. <laughs> with the hope of soon finding a permanent place to live. We want a starting new life in USA, and we want to be U.S. citizen. Marathon runners know when you need to go the extra mile, you run with your heart. I wanted to help my friends and in a meaningful way. Uh -huh. Okay, what do we have here? Uh -oh. Going the distance to save lives. My mom helped insurance. <laughs> Andy Bass making sure. We love you. We love you. We 
He didn't cross the finish line alone. It makes me feel very, very happy. Andy Bass has set up a GoFundMe page to help the women get back on their feet. We posted the link when you go to this story on KSDK.com.